Hey, what's up, Josh? Not much. I'm excited about this one because in this corner, we have ChatGPT, the AI arena entering. Look at him. Look at him. He's handsome. And then we have Bing's <laughs> chatbot. Bing's chatbot. By the that's, way, all of, you, that's it. You do good. Yeah, was was that okay? Oh, by the yeah. way, all of these companies need to like brand these things better than this because, you know, Bing bot. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, Bing bot. Bing bot. Dude, I'm, you're a total Bing bot. <laughs> I like it. So the problem with Bing is it has no respect, right? Because it's, yeah. it's not even, you can't even say you're number two, right? Because that's putting on equal footing with Google, right? Yeah. Whether you like it or not is irrelevant. The fact it's 99% of the volume is Google, right? So it like, kind of lacks respect. So yep. they should change I, it. By the way, that's that's well, they did change. I think that I think Microsoft, you know, when they did the Bing thing, it was like when they did the Bing thing, it was kind of like uh, new Coke, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> uh, we love Coca Cola. What are you doing, Bing? Okay, I don't want any of that stuff. I'm gonna stick with these guys. I think that's what happened to them. It was just marketing, but they just all in. They're like, we don't care what you say. Well, yeah, we're. I think I think Bing's gonna make a big resurgence. I think I think this this tool is gonna change the game for them. All right, I think before it we do is. it, we have to do our head to head. Okay. And uh, uh, in this corner, however you said it with your cool voice, in I'm this be, corner, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll, I'll do some Bing comments, and you can come back with um, Chat GPT comments. Makes me, uh, uh, yeah, I know you're. You know, not much of a. Oh no, that's right. You're not a Futurama fan, but you know the Simpsons. You remember, you remember the the when the Simpsons had the commercial on the TV for the uh, monster truck show. Yeah. And say one day, one day, one day only. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I do. So, always, so that's what this is. One day only. It's Chat GPT versus Bing. Yeah. All right. So are you ready? I'm ready. Um. Bing. Users have responded. Uh, complain. That it takes a long time to generate a response, and I have noticed that. So, uh, on the Bing corner, I'm like, "Come on! It takes quite a while, and it's often um, it's clunky. And if you use the app, um, it has this weird thing that it does where you like uh, tell me about electromagnetism, and it's like voices back to you searching for electromagnetism, and then if you say Two things it has searching for electromagnetism, searching for, you know, four forces of nature, and I'm like, okay, thank you, you know, and then you're waiting and you're waiting. So uh, come back to me with ChatGPT on that. Yeah, well, ChatGPT is pretty darn fast. I mean, even when the system is bogged down, it is really, you know, I. I'm happy with the speed. I haven't had any issues with that, especially now that I have the twenty dollar turbo. Oh wait. <clears throat> Yeah, but is it turbo? Yeah. yeah, I think it's called turbo. Yeah, no, it is. I, I know I'm supposed to be in the the Bing corner, but I got to say that when I'm using uh, Chat GPT and it's spitting out its reply, I have to stop it, like scrolling, so I could read it because it's yeah. going quicker than I can read. Yeah, I tried to use it as a uh, teleprompter in a conversation the other day, and luckily I could just about keep up with it. But that was from speed reading. That's from all the practice I get <laughs> reading to the kids. Uh, so anyway, so that that one goes to Chat. Uh, GPT. Ooh, I got um, one. <clears throat> oh, what do you got? Go ahead. I don't have like a crazy wait time to get you know access to me. Like right now, uh, oh. now a couple weeks ago, <laughs> I did. You know, it was kind of difficult. But I've noticed uh, a lot of my clients. I've gone over and I'm like, okay, you're gonna get a thing and you're gonna have to sign up. Oh, oh, I just got you in. You're cool. Here's your account. So it, it's it's really really. I know. Microsoft's still behind on that a little bit, so that's two for Chat GPT. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it right. is. Now I know so, you got it. I'm still on the waiting list for Microsoft. That's why. That's why you're the my my resident expert because you have a weak head start on me. <laughs> I'm I'm the Bing botter. You're Bing bot. Uh, yeah, Josh. So I got to say uh, a couple things about Bing. I'm sorry, but I'm not I'm not promoting Bing in a positive light here. Like I should be in the Bing corner. Um, but in addition to the fact that you have to wait, um, it's a bit awkward um, on the app. But however, when you use it on the desktop, oh my god, dude, it is 
You know, all the things that we've complained over the decades of Microsoft, this is 100% Microsoft. It is convoluted, overly engineered, a waste of time on the desktop, and it forces you that you have to use Microsoft Edge. You can't use Chrome, at least as of the recording of this, that forces you to do it. Um, and so what that does is it takes you out of your element. If you're using Chrome for, you know, 50 things, now you, you have to learn. have... You got to learn something uh, new, old man. <laughs> well, it, it's not even that because when you're in Edge, it's like, yeah. ah, you know, it's like not that much different, whatever. But it's a separate window. Like you're going back and forth. You're forced to because it, it won't do it. And my note right here uh, that I put for myself, Josh, is it's Microsoft. That was my note because I knew <laughs> that that would remind me of all the awkwardness and uh, clumsy stuff that Microsoft builds that they just simply can't streamline something. Um, and it's using it on the desktop is really a pain in the ass. Well, do you uh, imagine so like being a young lady and walking up to Bill Gates and having a conversation? Do you think it would be awkward or do you think it would be like <laughs> he's smooth? <laughs> but he makes a good but he but but would you marry him? You bet. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's, a, that's a that's a good analogy, yeah. Yeah. I, you know it's funny you say that because I in the in the I've watched videos about about you know for users that already have it, you know. And uh, I I believe, you know, from a Nostradamus point of view that this is a game changer for Microsoft. They're all in. They got the money. They're going to do something big with this. They've got an opportunity to really make a move here. Um, and I think that they're going to come out. I'm And I'm telling my clients that we're doing marketing for it. Because like you said, we would be like, Google ads, spend your money here. And we're going like, eh, you might want to be looking at Microsoft again. You know, let's do it. Because I think market share is coming back. I really do. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm partly there with you. I, I look at it as an opportunity to explore. However, everything's changing so quickly yeah. that in the blink of an eye, they could be behind again. And my concern is that the usability is so awkward. It's so limiting um, that I feel like they're, be you know, they're uh, they're digging their own grave. Should and we should we look at integrating this with Ask Jeeves and taking over the world? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, I, I should go there. I wonder whatever happened to Ask Jeeves. I wonder if it's there. It's probably clean. Yeah. I knew the... Don't talk about the, Yahoo. Um, okay, so, uh, Josh, you're the one supposed to be batting for ChatGPT, uh, but I'm going to I'm gonna start it for you. Uh, I have ChatGPT, uh, a shortcut. On, they don't have an app. I have a shortcut on my phone. Open it up. It opens the web page. And the web page on my desktop and dude, it's phenomenal. It's simple. There's a bunch of features I might want, but you know what? It's quick. It's easy. There's no cumbersome UI. Uh, it's just, they did a good job keeping it like, Hey, I want information. Give me access to information. So you like me, you really, really like I, me. I, I do. So I like I'm you. like three and oh now, but I, I'm sure you got a couple of, what do they call those counter punches? counter punches i never boxed much i i knew not to yeah i'm, I'm right with, with humor you. so so one of the the counter punches which i guess is a counter -punch. is it has an app yeah it has an app and it speaks to you and so um, it really speaks i really to me. like that feature where you can i can say i can speak you know kind of like what google assistant should be doing where i can say something and it responds back ver uh you know vocally so that's nice, especially if you're driving or something. Um, so that the fact as an app and it can speak to it is, is a good thing. However, their execution is so cumbersome that it really is a is a drain and it doesn't allow you to fully, you know, incorporate that, you know, that it's, feature. It's Bill Gates at the bar. That, that's exactly. exactly. <laughs> Bill Gates so you know that. Hey, that that my show, name's Clara. Uh, so Clara, <laughs> your name is Clara. Claire is 27 and she likes to walk on the beach. <laughs> Clara, you're 27. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Uh, Think about you're it. It's exactly on, how it works. You're picking on Bill Gates. You know what, though? He wouldn't even do that. He just walk up, put his, you know, we might talk about like, oh, you have the Amex black card. He has a color we don't even know. Yeah. Right? yeah. So he it's takes out his Amex the rainbow unknown color. The rainbow unicorn. Uh-huh. 
Actually, as the facial recognition, uh, he just walks in and goes, do I have to waste my time grabbing my wallet? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he doesn't even need the, any any savvy or slickness. <clears throat> no. No. So, so um, I'm going to go back to a couple things that chat, uh, I mean, that uh, Bing does really have uh, an upper hand on, and it's the fact that it will look at the internet. You can... Can, you can have it look at a web page. You can have it re, uh, look at something that's current and right there, and it will include with you. Which is this is should be something that uh, ChatGPT does. It'll include footnotes and links of where it got some sources from, and that is really really helpful. And it gives it some validity and credibility. So you know which QAnon you got your information from. It's like mine yeah, came I mean, from I, Q, I, mine came yeah, from QAnon. I mean, my fact came from QAnon of Canada, which is the good QAnon. Yeah, that's the, you know, because they're kinder in their, yeah. <laughs> um, in their craziness, you know. You know, they don't pasteurize their beer in QAnon Canada. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm they don't. myself. But no, you are correct. I mean, I can't, I mean, having all those, you know, having all those, um, what do they call those? Citations? Look at me go. Those citations, you. you know, of where this your information is. Wow, I'm from academia. So that, and by the way, that's in Moldova. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is there really an academia now? She was a so Greek like goddess. You just, you, the Greek you, goddess, you just, of, but she had the head of a book. <laughs> you labeled yourself, I'm in academia, and now I'm going to prove I'm not. <laughs> oh, I prove that often. So. <laughs> um, all right, Josh. So uh, here, here you got one. Uh, that goes back to your corner again. Session limits. Oh, yes. You know, it's funny. I was reading recently that, you know, you only had five five looky-loos at a subject and then up to 50, I believe they were giving you. And now I think it's six and 60. Is that correct? That, that's what I have as of two days ago. So have you ever, have you ever, changed? Have you ever queried more than six times at a... <laughs> No, that's so, Josh. That's a really good question, and I haven't. Do you know why? Why? Because I keep going back to ChatGPT. Yes. Uh, what's your What's your your take? Who, who's the the knockout? Right now, it's ChatGPT for what we're using it for. For us personally, for using it for creativity, using it for you know uh, for source, using it for uh, project management using it for um, organization, using it for, you know, analysis. But again, we're always taking into consideration our data sets 2021. I'm sure a lot of people aren't thinking about that. Um, uh, yeah. Microsoft, I mean, we, I personally am not because I haven't played with it yet. But I can tell you things like it, it delay, talking and delaying to me would annoy me. So, uh, it, so it does. It, it's it's one of those things where you're like, ah, this is a pain, and then five minutes later, you're like, this is insane. I don't yeah. want to deal with this. Yeah. But so, Josh, I just remembered something. If there was any question of which one to use, I just remembered something. So, on the phone, when you're using it to copy what you want, you have you can't save it. Like ChatGPT will save your sessions. Yeah, it doesn't save anything. And if you want, you have to copy it on your phone's a pain of copy some, some long form copy. Then you have to paste it in some other app, right? Something else. And if you hit the share button, I'm like, oh my God, I missed the share button. Who is a big problem fixed? You know what it shares? What? A freaking screenshot. Oh. So you can't take the text once you receive it. And then it's only if you have this much stuff in your screenshots, of speech, it's just useless. That to me is... That to me, the frustration point of my of Microsoft. So Bill Gates is lucky; he has that unicorn, rainbow, credit card, Amex card. To so, you know, I got a question for you. Do you believe? Is it possible they they know all this? I don't. I don't believe they don't know all this. You know, they're not getting. Although you know, they put it out there for users. ChatGPT. I mean, like it's we've seen improvements in that since the original re release. Yeah. So my question is. Did they just do it to get to market first and now they're going to i believe they'll fix this rapidly there i just heard you know billions of dollars getting invested you know in, I, the, in the company so i do agree with that to some extent because i feel like they've been 
uh, it was a knee-jerk reaction on Microsoft and uh, Google because of ChatGPT's popularity. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think just the other day we were talking about something that <clears throat> ChatGPT has more users now than TikTok and... Instagram. I forget what the other one combined. I forget yeah. what they were. Yeah, the I think point is a lot of users. Uh, however, on the other side of that, Joss, I read this article today about uh, um, uh, different competing uh, departments at, at Google uh, where they wanted to push now for three years um, their uh, their AI and integrate it into Google Assistant and to other things. And Google, you know, I'm reading the quotes from department heads and, you know, kept putting like, no, we don't do that. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. And so their, their, their active decision was to not do these things that you're saying, oh, Microsoft is going to fix it. And I'm like, maybe it's just their decision. They're not to, maybe the market will, you know, pave the way and Google be like, okay, well we have to, uh, you know, it, it's funny. I was just having this conversation yesterday about, a with someone that was developing an app, maybe they went open source, you build it developers, whatever product we let all you and then we'll just buy you. It could be that. It really <laughs> it could, could be, be. that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, you know what they're doing, but that article was, uh, was kind of, um, like I'm in, I'm in bed with the Google ecosystem, but the last couple of years, so frustrated, right? Their Google assistant is just so antiquated. It just inconsistent, inaccurate. The continued conversation they call it is basically useless. Um, it's terrible. And so I'm like, you, you've been laying, you've been on the, you know, they had, but they have great customer these, service. If you call them, Oh, sorry. I was talking about a different company. What were you keep going? <laughs> yeah, they don't have great, they used to have great customer service. Yeah. They don't any longer. Um, so since 2020, they had, according to some of the people, AI that was ready to be integrated and used in some of this stuff. So, you know, three years isn't the end of the world, but when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's a lifetime. And so it's just concerning and, um, I, I haven't, I'm not on the waiting list for Bard. I can't even figure out how to get on because they're, they're selectively, uh, it, it's an active thing that they're doing. So for us, it's passive. We can't do anything except wait. Yeah. Well, actually maybe they'll make us guinea pigs now. Maybe oh, that's okay. our plot. The, the, maybe that's all yeah. we're doing. We're just, mm -hmm. do, we're trying to get their attention. Like, those guys, should, those guys should test our stuff. They mm -hmm. really know AI or really like to play with stuff. Yeah. It's toys. Both. It's all just toys. It's both. It's it's toys. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so uh I, I mean I, I think it's uh the uh knockout goes to Chat GPT there, you know. Mighty blow. Like, Mighty blow. It's mm -hmm. body blow. <laughs> what was what was it? Body blow. Body blow. The Mike Tyson <laughs> Nintendo. Body blow. Uh -oh. <laughs> body blow. Body blow. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me you're you're your uh, mechanical punching reminds me of uh, knock 'em sock 'em robots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we nerded everyone out enough today. Yeah, we did. All right, knock 'em sock 'em, Josh. Thanks, that was fun. Hey, you take care, and we'll we'll talk about fighting and 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 tech later. All right, see ya. See ya.